My name is Palmer Lucky, founder of Oculus VR. So Palmer, what are you guys showing off here at E3? So we're showing off a 1080p prototype that we've developed at the Oculus Rift, and that's because one of the biggest complaints that we've gotten you know, about the developer kits that we've shipped over 10,000 of now is the low resolution. We wanted to show people the kind of progress that we've been making and also show people uh, some of the new demos that have been coming out in the community, and especially Unreal Engine 4 integration. Now when you're updating from 720 to 1080 screen, I saw it in there, it looks fantastic. Are you limited by technology or is it more cost constraints? Right now it's technology. We're at the top of the what you can currently get. Awesome, and, and like, how are people responding to the new 1080p screen? People are having really positive responses. I mean, it's more than twice as many pixels as the original dev kit, and this is a baseline. It's only getting it better from here. Like, uh, the displays that we have today, they're the top of the line for what you can get today. And by the time the consumer version of the Rift comes out, even better displays will be on the market. Awesome, and can you talk a little about like your journey of how you've got here and how August has since, since then exploded into the, into the populace? So, I mean, I think what's happened is that we've we sent these out to so many developers after our Kickstarter, and, you know, it wasn't just the Kickstarter. We've actually sold more on our website now than we sold during our Kickstarter. So we've been wildly successful, you know, almost twice in a row now. And it's really exciting because we're not just seeing people buying the rep. We're actually seeing hundreds of different games and demos coming out. And I think that proves that people are really interested in virtual reality, and they want to try to, you know, use the Rift development kit to make all kinds of interesting ideas a reality. When you were making this essentially with ski goggles, did you ever think it would get this far? The goal has always been to try to make it as good as I could, not necessarily to, you know, think about, about, about the future. Um, I th I'm really glad that we are where we are. I don't think that I ever thought it would be this successful. People are like they're raving about you. You are definitely going to go down into the technology history books for this device. How does that make you feel? I think that time will tell if that actually happens.